I want to start off the list with an honourable mention and I'm going to give that to the Dark Iris 3s. This was such a clean shoot and I really would love to put these on the list, just didn't make it. There were some better shoes this year which I think were a lot cleaner, so it just didn't make the list. It's a very, very clean white shoe with nice leather. Um, mixes with purple really well just such a wearable shoe starting off the list at number 10 we have the red thunder fours this was another really nice shoe which i really love i'm a huge chicago bulls fan and this is just the perfect colorway to rock with lots of my t-shirts and outfits shoes are so classic uh, i just really do love them they only placed at 10 because again there was so uh, so many other shoes which i just feel like take the cake slightly over this one Still a really, really clean shoe. Really, really nice colorway that I would love to have in my collection. Now at number nine on the list, we have the Air Jordan 7 Citruses. Another amazing colorway. This one was so nice. I couldn't get it when they dropped. I would have loved to because this is just an amazing shoe. So classic. They retroed again and I just really wanted them. I could not get them, but a very, very nice shoe. I would love to have this one in the collection. It's just so, so clean, so nice, great colorway, and made number nine on the list. Let's see what we got next. Number eight on the list comes Air Jordan 3 Fire Reds. This is another classic one. You'll notice all of these, well, most of the shoes on the list are from back in the day. These are another classic one. I'm into the classics. I love these. Just nice, again, red goes with the Bulls outfits. Just really, really, really nice shoe. Very clean as well. I didn't cop these ones either. I would get these, but I want to get the Cardinals, and they're just so similar that I had to pass on these. So at number seven, we have the Air Jordan 2 Chicago's. I know these only dropped like a day ago, depending on when I drop this video, but these are just such a clean colorway. Again, Chicago. They could copy and paste this colorway on every single Jordan, and I would buy it. That's how much I love this colorway. It's just so clean, works with everything, and it's just so iconic and classic. This just such good shoes. That's all I can say. They're just very, very good shoes. That's why they're number seven on the list. At number six, we have the Air Jordan 4 Military Black. This is another great one. I loved the Air Jordan 4 Military Blues, and then they just made black ones. So this is a very good shoe as well. Easily rockable. Goes with plenty of outfits. Just such a good shoe. Jordan 4s are hyped right now. They're such a clean model as well as the colorway. Just good shoes. Now we're up to the top five and at number five I have arguably the greatest basketball sneaker of all time, the Kobe 6 Pro Tro. This is in the Mamba Sita colorway, RIP Kobe and Gigi. And just look how clean this shoe looks, white and black in that slick model, it's just can't be beat. When you step onto the court with these, you're dropping 60 points. This is just amazing, these shoes are so nice. I don't live in Los Angeles, so I couldn't get these, and I did not want to pay thousands of dollars for resale. I do love the Kobe's though, and this this just had to make top five. It's just such a clean shoe. Moving on. Now, for the top four, these are all going to be shockers. So I have the Air Jordan 7 Cardinals. Again, a shocker. Who would have thought? But these are such clean shoes. The Cardinals, so, so nostalgic and OG. I wasn't alive when these dropped bit before my time but still an amazing sneaker that's just such a classic colorway that jordan wore and it's just an amazing shoe i had to put these on the list again i couldn't cop these seems like that with every other shoe on this list but they're all hard to cop now at number three we have the air jordan 4 military blues this is another clean one i i just love the air jordan 4 white cements so much it's one of my favorite sneakers of all time it's within the top five these are that, but blue where the black is meant to be. It's just such a clean colorway. You can do this with lots of different colors to switch out the color, keeping the same color blocking. It's just such a clean pair of shoes. They just are amazing. Again, Jordan 4s are hot right now, and um, I'm kind of stepping a little bit into that hype train. I know, it's crazy. I'm going with the hype, but they're cool. Now at number two, this may be the biggest surprise of the whole video, but I have the Cardinal Jordan 3s. These are so clean. This was my sneaker of the year until a couple of shoes came out. Actually, one more shoe came out, but up until then, this was my sneaker of the year. It's such a crazy shoe. It's so, so clean with that darkish tone of red on the white Jordan 3 with the elephant print showing through. Just the cleanest sneaker I've seen. 
this year except for one and this is why they're so high up on the list number two it's they're just so amazing i need to get these i slept on these when they came out and then i realized oh wait what have i done so i'm trying to get these and i just they're number two on the list they're such good shoes and now the number one shoe of the year the best sneaker of 2022 we have the panda dunks this is just a Oh, I'm kidding. I would never let a pair of dunks be on my top five, especially not these. Let's get on to the real top one. The best shoe of 2022 is the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. Where do I even begin on this shoe? It is so clean, so nostalgic, so iconic. I reckon the Jordan 1 Chicago is the most iconic shoe of all time. And they re-released this year. How can they not be the best? They are just so incredibly clean. Again, you might have seen my video where I tried to cop these but couldn't. I still need to get these. They're the Chicago's. How could I not? Jordan got these as a rookie. 1985, the Jordan 1 dropped. Mm. As a rookie. How many rookies do you know that get signature shoes with Nike? This is just such an iconic piece of shoe for the sneaker culture and really started sneaker culture itself. Where would the game be without these? It's just the most greatest shoe of all time that's what i think except well no i don't the bread 11 is the greatest shoe of all time these are coming in close though and by now you must have realized oh sneaker factor there must be some mistake where are the armor oh, in your jordan 4s and honestly while i was filming this i realized i don't even like them now you might have seen my video where i tried to cop them and you might be thinking well sneaker factor what were you going to do if you hit you know what, I would have sold them and then I would have bought better shoes than reviewed them on the channel for you guys, you're welcome. But these just aren't that cool. And you might be also thinking, oh, where are the orange lobsters? They're not very cool either. Just, I, they're just orange dunks. I'm not a dunk person. You already know that, I've said that on the channel. I don't like dunks that much, but yeah, they just didn't crack the top 10 because I don't like them, this is my list. I'm sorry if I ruffled a few feathers there at the end. I'm sorry. I don't really mean to hurt anyone's feelings. I just don't like the shoes really much. It is my list. I'm just giving my opinion solely. If you disagree, you can write me a hate comment in the comment section as usual. Um, that's all I really got to say. Drop a like, subscribe, peace.